Hey everyone, this is James from Brewing Box. So today we are in a different location for this video. In fact, we are in Oxford, specifically in North Moor Road, where famously J.R.R. Tolkien himself used to live between 1930 and 1947. So I'm in Oxford for a couple of days to attend Oxenmoot, which is this annual gathering by the Tolkien Society where people from all over the world come together to discuss Tolkien, to give lectures, uh, host art exhibitions and all sorts of activities. I was here in fact to deliver a paper which will feature in a future video very very soon. During Oxenmoot they actually previewed the first two episodes of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power and that is the scope of the video today to give my first impressions about the show. Overall it was a great start, the storytelling is good and while some moments were a bit talkative and slow, the pacing overall works really really well. In fact the opening sequence is superb and shows the potential of what could happen if the Silmarillion was ever adapted for TV. Overall, it was a good start. The storytelling was strong, and although slow and talkative at whiles, the pacing was nonetheless progressive. The visuals look fantastic. No expenses were spared in the shots and the sequences. The world, the props, the characters, the costumes, they all feel and look real. The, they show the middle earth that we know and love. The acting is excellent and some people have criticized some of the performance, especially the dialogue and I can understand those people because I feel that since Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings came out, which used this very highly decorative dialogue, especially between the different races, other fantasy series following the films have tried to replicate that. And here in the Rings of Power, sometimes certain moments do feel as if they are trying a bit too much to create dialogue which has that elevated style, which is so familiar with what we've seen in Jackson's trilogy. Other than that, I'm really loving the character of Elrond from the start. I was a firm believer in the actor's capabilities and he has definitely exceeded my expectations. In addition, the chemistry between Elrond and Prince Durin, as he is called in the Rings of Power series, is truly remarkable. I love that sort of chemistry between the two and I'm really excited to see how it develops further throughout the series. So far, none of the characters created for this show feel added or extra. They just form part of the world that is being set out in the story. The issue of short elf hair is not really an issue at all, in my personal opinion. Actually, I found some of the characters really could pull off that look, even though one or two, I have to admit, look a bit odd being elves in short hair, but for the majority, it's really not an issue at all. The music is utterly beautiful. Bear McCreary created something spectacular and it promises to really develop as the series progresses. I have to say, uh, a bit of a shocker that uh, even though the main theme for the show was created by and composed by Howard Shore, it left much to be desired in my opinion. It has undertones of Jackson's Lord of the Rings, but it never quite manages to reach a particular epic feel as much as we are accustomed of, to seeing in other TV series. It is understandable that the show's creators have taken quite some significant creative liberties in adapting the Second Age into the show. As we all know, Tolkien did not write that much about characters, incidents or events in that in much detail and therefore the creators have had to create new characters, dialogue and certain, let's say, action moments, so to speak, to attract the audience. But they managed to do this quite well. Even though there are certain moments where it feels as if the creators have gone a bit overboard nonetheless, it does feel that they know the source material provided by Tolkien himself and have successfully managed so far, at least in the first two episodes, to integrate what we already know with what they bring new to the show. And I'm really excited to see how the story progresses forward in the remaining episodes and eventually seasons as well. So overall it was a fantastic 
two episodes a few negative aspects but overall pretty much positive overall so i'm really looking forward for you out there to start watching this series so we can share our thoughts and comments i'm pretty sure that certain things which i have mentioned here people may not agree with or they might agree so let me know in the comments down below that's it for today from beautiful Oxford. I will be posting a video very, very soon about my experience here at Oxford and Oxford in general. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.